है नाउ इट्स अ टाइम टू मेक एडवांस लॉट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट न्यू एंड पार्ट व्हाट वी हैव सीन इज वी हैव सीन नॉर्मल लॉफ्ट एंड मल्टीपल लॉफ्ट नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपेंस इन एडवांस लॉफ्ट फॉर दैट वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द फ्रंट प्लेन make it normal let's draw a sketch i want a rectangle i will draw a rectangle over here okay and then back now selecting the front plane going to features reference geometry left click and again a plane this is a new plane let's say i want this thing 200 mm away and okay now let's draw something on this plane which is already been selected sketch one more rectangle thin rectangle on the right hand side okay i'll make it okay back and on this plane the new plane which we made this rectangle again i want to make a new plane features reference geometry plane this is plane new plane let's say i want 500 mm away okay so i made plane 2 let's draw something on plane 2 go to sketch one more rectangle over here yeah and okay and back let's see how what we have done in isometric view look we have made there are total three planes and three sketches now how loft feature works how advanced loft feature works we need to make 3d sketch take a spline left click we'll take a spline and then start drawing something over here but before drawing on the points which are being shown we'll make it we'll will sorry left click what we'll do is escape we'll come out of this sketch okay and we'll make it <coughs> right click hold and then front view or you can call it side view now we need to select the three sketch or your sketch and three sketch we'll select three sketch through left mouse click button please do not take only 3d sketch or else it won't show the red points on the sides so after taking a 3d sketch it is necessary to take a spline now zoom it and let's make some drawings on the edges look and a little bit more now zoom it to see where our drawing goes and we'll end it here click now escape and back what we need to do is we need to see in isometric view whether it is touching all the sides of rectangle or not look yes it is touching so for now it's time to go for advanced loft for features and click loft here three sketch is being selected this is the profile and here we'll go to we'll open the tree on the left on the right 
and here we'll select sketch 1 now see sketch 2 and sketch 3 here what you will observe is the path is taken by this plane so this is the advanced loft now make it ok so look how the part is being made in advanced loft using spline 3d sketch and spline so the section will be rectangle and the path will be the spline which we made so in loft you will find sketch 1, so sketch 2, sketch 3 and 3d sketch but now let's see what happens if we don't use this 3d sketch which is the spline if we don't use the spline so how the loft looks so we'll go back again to multiple loft but not the advanced loft we'll delete this delete this loft yes now I don't want this sketch also so we'll again delete yes now how the loft looks in multiple just you need to select the three sketches one sketch two sketch three sketch select it properly yes now make it okay look how the loft looks without this line so this is all about advanced loft Thank you.